Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to CCXRC. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Furitech Lizard Ultimate ESC. It's in this packaging. There's not even any numbers or whatever on the packaging yet. These are going to be coming out very soon uh, for $109. They've stepped it up a notch with these, as you will see as soon as we open this up. Take a look. Package like so many of their other items. Check that out. Look at that awesome casing that they've now got for these. The Bluetooth module is inside, so you don't have the little dongle that's uh, clipped to your ESC. Got a little on-off button here, the red button. Um, and these are now 40 amp continuous with 70 amp burst for this. So a little bit of a boost as well in power, and it is 2S and 3S capable. Uh, for you guys that like to do the crawlers or monster trucks, these are a pretty awesome upgrade. And you can just see uh, how much nicer this looks as far as a finished product goes. So not only are you getting more power, but you're also getting, you know, the machined case and it is waterproof. So you're paying a little bit extra for quite a few little upgrades, which is pretty cool. Here, we'll pull this one out of my go-to crawler right now is my creep body. And it is on a FureTech um, Scythe carbon fiber chassis and it is running the avatar radio system right there You can see the receiver tucked in there. The nice thing about these is how small everything just tucks in and uh, We're still gonna be able to tuck this in here have it nice and clean The nice thing is that these ports are coming right off the top here and um, allow me to just stick this right down in place It's gonna be awesome so minimal weight upgrade, you know weight difference now this one here is actually a uh, FureTech Lizard, like the V2's, got the little on-off button here. And these are a 20 amp uh, continuous 40 amp burst with these. Um, they do have the FOC control still, but you don't have that uh, nice case and you don't have some of the features that you find in the Pro as far as the tunability for running it with the monster trucks and all that. It's only 2S capable as well. Um, so that's one of the things about this. Um, so the pro version of this is a little bump up. It's a 30 amp continuous 50 amp burst. And then this ultimate jumps you up to a 40 amp continuous with a 70 amp burst. So going to get a little upgrade on this truck. It's going to be nice. You can see our motor lead here. We'll run our wire. Uh, looks like right here to go over to our receiver make sure i get it in the right way bam and then we'll be able to plug our battery direct into here which is pretty cool so we'll just have it set right here and or well i guess i'll choose a side based on where it's going to go best on off switch i can change my battery to go this way and we go this should all work i just want to give it a quick test on everything get to plug this back in to channel two i absolutely love this furetech avatar radio anybody that has seen me run these always sees me using this avatar it has been my go-to for months ever since i got it it's all i really run with uh, my my main cars that i run all right, so looks like we've got everything all buttoned up here. Let me go ahead and plug into power. We're just gonna set it in here for a minute. That's how easy this is. Motor's gotta be plugged in as well. And we'll have to go and tune this to our radio, which is pretty easy to do as well. Grab my Furitech avatar. It goes turn it on this is our model one for this vehicle i'm just going to go ahead and turn it on and see what happens that looks pretty good we also have with this a higher bec rating which can give us more power from our servo which is going to be pretty awesome so if you have some of the more powerful servos like the mighty chihuahua you can turn that all the way up. I'm still running the 99 micro in this, same specs as the Chihuahua, so. All right, so I now have the Furicar app set up on my iPad. It is scanning. I'm gonna go ahead and turn our system back on. And 
there it's showing up. It's our car. One, two, three, four. There it is. All right, so first thing we're going to do, you can see the car's wanting to roll away, and I don't have any input on here. Now that our trim is set to zero, and it's still wanting to drive, we're actually going to go into our throttle. We calibrate it. Set to zero, hit OK. Set it all the way, hit OK. Put it in full reverse, hit OK. Now we're gonna save that. And everything is now happy in the world. It now knows our throttle input, which is great because it gives us that even more just little minimal amount that we can do. I pretty much only run 2S for our comps. You could do 3S. Um, but I pretty much am usually okay with 2S for crawling. So we're going to go back now. You can see our telemetry. You can make changes to here, clicking and moving stuff around. We're not going to do any of that. Let's see our running. So our output, our servo, we can set up to like 6.5. Say yes. And... See how much power we have. Things are moving. It's almost like you don't need all of it. And my endpoints aren't set. It's pushing too far right there. We're going to move everything. It's hitting. So we can adjust that luckily because of our nifty controller. All right. So we got some tape here. If you don't have some of this servo tape, you guys need to get some. They have it in clear. They have it in black. And they have it in gray. But... I have it in the gray, it's what I've always gotten, and I swear by this, it takes a little bit to get tacky, but once it hardens to uh, what you have it applied to, I'll tell you what, it's hard to beat it. It just sticks and it stays. So I try not to get any oils on it for my fingers. It's even better if you have like uh, some kind of a rubbing alcohol or something to clean everything down with first. Isopropyl alcohol is what I like to use. It dries real fast. Super clean, and uh, man, it really sticks if you use some of that. For what I'm doing here, and for what this is, and because we're doing a video right now and I don't have any up here, we're just gonna go with it as is. Just put it in place. I had actually just turned it off with the switch on accident. I was holding it down by the switch. Takes a couple seconds to turn off, which is nice. You can't accidentally just bump it and have it shut off. You have to have something like pressing against it, which is a nice feature. It's a feature rich ESC. We'll show you guys how mad this thing is. Waterproof, lots of power, can creep super slow. We'll wait till we get it up where you can see a little better there. Look at that slow crawl you can do. It's moving. We got overdrive in the front. And it's just creeping like the name of the body says. And this truck just goes. Again, a lot of people like these because you can run through 3S. A lot of people like to run 3S with them. I have a 3S battery. I don't run it very often. Mainly had it for monster trucks. Look at this thing hang. Boom. Right there, it's for it's fighting back. Nice. I'm a really huge fan of how this truck has turned out. I put links in the description down below, you guys, for some of this stuff. This I get a lot of questions about. This is you getting a five pack of these from Kyosho. They're like a mini Z crawler course. I think A Main has them if they still have them. A lot of people ask me about them, so they may be sold out. I don't know. Um, 
but it's 75 bucks so basically it's 15 dollars per square uh and it comes in a, with five of them so uh for the testing purposes here i really just need one to kind of show what it can do but um it is a pretty cool little platform and like i said i have five of them that i can stack however i want around the house or doing whatever um, put them up against things, you know, to increase angles and make things a little more difficult or challenging. And, uh, you know, this truck's going to get it anyway. We'll set it down. <laughs> Just because these tires hook up. Um, and these are running the flubber stuffers in them. These are the RC four-wheel drive scramblers. I have a new set to put on here. I was in a rush to get out and I didn't have my um, belt punch for it. And so I just kind of put little slits in the sidewalls and they're kind of really gumming up and tearing bigger. So I have a new set of these to put on here and uh, get this thing squared away again. They already put holes in it so that when I get a chance to swap these out, I will. But as long as they're holding right now, I'm not going to swap them. They're doing well. And, uh, you know, it was my rush. These were these are pretty old as it is. So I was ready to swap them out because they're pretty, uh, pretty soft. And it was an early pair, and I felt like they were a little thin. And I, I have another set, and they don't feel quite as thin on these sidewalls. So I'm hoping that, you know, changing that out with the, the new set that I have will be a little better. Because I have a hard time getting these ones to actually bite on these NHX brass rims. So uh, if not, I just add a dab of glue around in a few spots so they don't pull out. But um not the end of the world if I do that. Just shoe goo and it'll, uh, you can remove it then still. But this is a pretty sweet setup, you guys. Again, the Avatar radio system, I think it's fantastic. This is the new FuerTech Ultimate. We'll hold that in, let it shut down. Check that out. So they say you shouldn't have to unplug your battery now, it, it's a complete cutoff, but. I'm going to go ahead and I just like to be in the habit because of all the other ones that don't have that feature. I'm going ahead and just unplugging it. So, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all to say about it. Pretty fantastic. Nice small little package they've got here. The aluminum looks fantastic. And uh, just the next step up for FuerTech. They came in swinging and uh, have released so many great products for us in the mini RC world. And so they've just, they've stepped it up with this new one. Now we've got waterproof ESCs and uh, that's gonna take it to the next level. Um, still, there's, I don't think I'd be running some of my motors and stuff through it, but um, it's a step in the right direction, that's for sure. Anyway, thanks for tuning in as always, guys. Hope you enjoy this video. We'll catch you next time. Have fun RCing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.